One challenge that, that every school will face is about how to use their budgets wisely. Um, so we face that challenge where, where we don't always have resources available to buy every tool or every piece of software that's available. One thing we found really helpful though is to find that, that the most cost effective way of developing these tools, often that's been around the use of hardware and services that will integrate most closely. For us that has meant Google, it's meant that we can afford many more Chromebooks than we would possibly be able to do if we're buying equivalent devices. Um, the benefit of Chromebooks is it ties so closely to students' normal use of technology that they're able to access so many different services at no additional cost through their Google account. The Chromebooks within school are portable, they're very quickly charged, they'll last throughout the day. And what's been really powerful for us, it's been so easy for us to deploy them into homes. So for families that have got limited access to technology, we've been able to just take the Chromebooks literally off the shelf, provide a charger, make some really simple changes to the administrative console, and then students have been continuing to use technology they were familiar with in school, also at home. Other barriers has been professional development for staff. Um, it's been a real joy recently to hear staff telling me about the fact I never thought I'd be able to teach online, online, but now I find myself training others to teach online. And this typically comes from older, often department leaders, thinking that they've always been able to rely on that, that personal contact. They found new ways to transfer that energy, enthusiasm and that subject knowledge um, into learners' understanding remotely. So seeing people who wouldn't naturally incline themselves to using technology first have found that it's a really useful tool to, to um, address all sorts of barriers that we face recently. Other challenges have included, I guess, is integration of systems. Um, one thing that's been really helpful to us is an understanding of, of how the server side of things work. Um, this is something that I suppose if you've potentially maybe not got that expertise within your school is often really helpful to reach out for. Someone that understands about how cloud systems can integrate to local authentication, how you can integrate these to make it ultimately as easy as possible for teachers and for students to access them without having to remember lots of different passwords. Having really simple systems in place to, to help people reset passwords. Um, for us that just meant that we have a, a student support desk. We've trained those staff who are the front line often for first aid needs or forgotten my PE kit or I need money for lunch are also the people that can offer technical support. Um, whether that's as simple as saying well actually here is where you need to go to access the hardware or I can change that password for you. So communication systems have helped address all sorts of barriers to make sure that the messages we give to students and to families are consistent and well understood. We'll also use our, our academic review days, which are equivalent of parents' evenings, to make sure that parents got opportunities to ask questions about technology. They'll often come up with questions we've maybe not necessarily considered ourselves, but to hear firsthand from parents about their challenges helps us to address things either through our curriculum to students or through our communications to parents, to make sure that parents at home are feeling confident about the most effective and safe ways to support their children. So at the heart of that, there are barriers. Um, a lot of this is about procuring things in the most affordable and sensible ways possible, considering how long systems will last, the length of warranties and the ultimate cost over the lifetime of the use. Um, and also it's the communication. Communication to staff that they know the best examples of practice, they know who to ask to for support, and then communications to students and parents so that they understand that there is always someone they can talk to um, to discuss and to strengthen their use of technology.